Welcome to another Frontier Precision Tech Talk. My name is Tony, and today we will be talking about independent subsets of satellites tracked in RTK surveys, uh, VRS surveys, or even RTX surveys. Um, so I'll let you read this uh, little slide here, but essentially what we're doing is, uh, say you have 20 satellites in the sky, what we're going to do is have the software take 10 of those away, take a measurement with 10 satellites with subset A, uh, we're going to go through and then take a measurement with subset B uh, to kind of get two different measurements with different constellation of satellites. So I like to use the example, uh, say you're using like a, or measuring a, a section corner uh, that's maybe two, three miles you know, off the road uh, and you have to walk with all your gear, take a measurement and then uh, possibly come back you know, at another time, maybe later in the day or another uh another day or maybe a week later to get another set uh, of, of measurements on that. So what this does is essentially enables us to go out there once, take two separate measurements using a totally different constellation of satellites to kind of get that independent measurement uh, twice without actually having to go back twice. So uh, we'll go into the field here. I'll show you how the, that workflow works. Um, but essentially the software does this for you. You don't have to turn any satellites on or off. Uh, it's going to just look for the best satellites to ensure good dilution of precision, uh, which essentially is good satellite geometry for each independent measurement. So uh, it's really easy to do. Uh, the only thing is that we need to make sure that we have uh, enough satellites to essentially turn half of them off to get a good measurement and then use the other half to get a second good measurement. So uh, let's head outside here and uh, we'll just go through that workflow. All right, so here we are uh, out in the field here. Um, I got 21 satellites. I have my survey started. My numbers look good. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and go through this process of using the uh, satellite subsets. So at the top, you can see I have 21 satellites. If I just tap on that uh, satellite icon up top there, I kind of get a, a plot view of the satellites I'm seeing. Uh, the R's are the GLONASS. Uh, constellation G's are the GPS constellation uh, E is the uh, Galileo constellation uh, I'm using the Minnesota VRS network at the moment uh, and that network does not have the ability to use uh, the uh, Beidou constellation so if you're using a uh, traditional base rover setup with uh, maybe say like an R84 as your base or higher you can actually get those uh, Galileo and Beidou satellite constellations uh, they're already added in if you have say like an R83 or lower uh, there was a cost to get those added in uh, for your base so uh, I'm using uh, just again our VRS uh, if you're using a, a different network uh, they may or may not have uh, Beidou and Galileo added in so just something to be aware of if I had the Beidou constellation uh, incorporated with this, I would see some C satellites, uh, and I'd probably see maybe you know five, six more. So, with uh, this process, you best case scenario is have as many satellites as you can uh, just to ensure that you have coverage. So, uh, all I'm going to do now is at the bottom, I'm going to hit SV set A as a soft key, and you'll see my satellites kind of uh, get cut down roughly in half based off their satellite geometry on the screen. So, I'll go ahead and hit that now. You can see at the top, uh, it goes to um, 11 uh, on the, the satellite icon. I have about roughly 11 satellites, uh, and it's got the A in brackets there. So just showing I'm in satellite subsection A or subset A. I just need to reinitialize my IMU. Got some good numbers there, so I'm just going to go ahead and take a measurement. Just call it point one. And for this again, I'll just use section corner. Go ahead and hit enter and I'll just take a measurement there. Now granted I am in a wide open field here today, so if you're in a woods or some sort of uh, cover, uh, just make sure you have as many satellites as possible to get this to work. I'll go ahead and just hit store there. So now I have a, a measurement for point number one using just satellite 
subset A. I'll go ahead again and click my satellite icon up top. I'll go switch over to subset B by using the soft key at the bottom. You see all these satellites kind of disappear and then I will reacquire the satellites I did not use in that first subset. See they slowly start popping in there. Uh, then I got to reinitialize my IMU of the R12i. See that's good there. Got some good numbers so I'm going to escape out. I'm going to measure this point again using satellite subset B. Again I'll just call this point number one. Enter. Point name exists, that's fine. I'll hit measure. <laughs> give it a couple seconds to cook here and I'll go ahead and hit store so I got some options um, between subset A and subset B I got roughly 24 thousandths of horizontal difference uh, vertical five hundredths um, so I'm just gonna go ahead I'm just gonna pick store another I do have some different options here if I want to average those two shots right away over to right you know rename it stores a check but I'm just gonna hit stores another I'll hit accept there so now I can zoom in. And it's just going to be the one point. So if I hit my menu button up top, go to my point manager, uh, expand my point one. You can see I, I have my two shots, uh, the 696 and the 715. Those are the two GPS shots I shot using subset A and subset B. Uh, in my code, rather than section corner, maybe I wanted to add like section corner subset A and then section corner subset B just to kind of differentiate the two. But what I'm going to do now then is I'm just going to average those two points. I'm just going to hit escape. I'm going to go to menu. I'm going to go to Kogo. I'm going to go to compute average. And I have points with the same name. So I'm just going to hit point one. And then you can, give, you can see it's going to give me an average of those, those shots. So I'm going to, just going to go ahead and hit store here. So now that's stored. So now, you, uh, it's tough to see, but you can see my point number one has a little dot by it, as opposed to the X, which was my GPS measurement. If I go to my menu button again, I'll go ahead to my point manager. And now, uh, if I expand point number one, oops, you can see I still have uh, a shot for uh, my GPS shot for subset A, my GPS shot for subset B, and then my average, uh, obviously, of those two shots. So. Uh, that's just kind of a quick workflow for doing something you know, like a section corner work or uh, some place that you might have to, to walk uh, a distance. Uh, but just keep in mind that uh, with Access, Access version 2020 and above, uh, this is an option for you to maybe kind of uh, give yourself maybe one trip as opposed to heading back out there again uh, sometime later in the day or maybe sometime later in the year uh, whenever you need to go back to get that second shot. So uh, just a quick little tech trick for you. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.